You might have realized by now just how important modal verbs are and how much they're used both in English and German. Mastering them will add a whole new dimension to your German and will be a wonderful new tool of expression at your disposal. But of course, you need a little bit of confidence first to actually use them yourself in your standard speech. The following learning games should help with that. Mindset. Have you ever come across the psychological concept that there's really nothing that you have to do, that you always have a choice in whatever you tackle in life, and that replacing the must do's with want to do's will change your attitude towards the concept of chores and brighten up your life? Well, now you just have, and apart from a language game, this little exercise might indeed turn chores into joys. Anyway, what we'd like you to do is the following. Make up a list, in German of course, of all the things you have to do today or this week, using the modal verb müssen, as in Ich muss heute Morgen einkaufen. Ich muss heute kochen. Ich muss das Haus putzen. Ich muss Deutsch lernen. Try to keep it really simple and, for once, stick to the truth. If you don't know a word, look it up in the dictionary. Take the list, read it out loud, Think about it and see how it makes you feel. You might feel rather burdened by all the chores you have in your life. Now you simply change the modal verb in all your sentences by swapping the ich muss with ich will and you'll arrive at a new list that reads Ich will heute Morgen einkaufen. Ich will heute kochen. Ich will das Haus putzen. Ich will Deutsch lernen. Now read your new list out loud again and with conviction and see how it makes you feel. You might come to the realization that it's really your own decision to go shopping, clean the house and learn German, so that the Ich will will start to feel more appropriate. Remember that the German Ich will is an even stronger expression of your willpower than in English I want. So your change of attitude should be even more effective in German. Does it add a spring to your step? Has it lightened your burden? Do you feel that you actually own your life? Well, no matter what, you will have learned how to use the two most important modal verbs, wollen and müssen. So now you don't have to learn them anymore. Can can. You might receive yet another little psychological boost through this game by focusing on your abilities rather than shortcomings, the power of positive thinking. Yes, it's another list. And what we want you to do this time is reflect on all your abilities, great and small, important and seemingly obvious, as in Ich kann lesen. Remember, this is a language exercise, not a CV, so feel free to include anything that distinguishes you from, say, the table in front of you. You can also include adverbs to make your statements more realistic and specific, for example Ich kann schnell laufen. Instead of just Ich kann laufen. Or Ich kann gut kochen instead of just, ich kann kochen. As a second step, you can now go through your list with your study buddy by setting up the following dialogue. You take the first item in your list, for example, ich kann gut kochen, and then say, ich kann gut kochen. Kannst du auch gut kochen? Your partner now answers with either, ja, ich kann auch gut kochen, or, nein, ich kann nicht gut kochen. Then it's your partner's turn to highlight one of his or her abilities and ask you about it. You can take this a step further and talk about other people too, asking about what your sister, boyfriend or parents can or can't do. That way you get to practice different verb forms. All you need is love. You'll be walking on air after all this positive stuff, but why not? This time we want to know what you love in life and focus on all the things that make life pleasant for you. Start with jotting down a few categories like food, films, sport, books, etc. to help you find out what you and your study buddy like in life. Take one of the categories and start asking your partner about what he or she likes. If you're talking about a thing, use ich mag. If you're talking about an activity, Use gern after the verb. So the first part of the conversation would go like this. Ich mag Apfelkuchen. Und du, magst du Apfelkuchen? Ja, ich mag Apfelkuchen. Or? Nein, ich mag Apfelkuchen nicht. In the next part of the conversation, make an offer. 
Möchtest du ein Stück Apfelkuchen? Ja, gern. Oh? Nein, danke. Ich esse gern Käse. Isst du auch gern Käse? Ja, ich esse auch gern Käse. Oh? Nein, ich esse nicht gern Käse. Möchtest du ein Stück Käse essen? Ja, gern. Oh? Nein, danke. By the way, we usually talk about your study buddy in the singular. But of course, most games and activities we propose here can be done in a group as well, particularly this one. You'll of course have to change the forms, for example, from magst du to mög dir, or from ist du to est ihr. Anyway, your partner or partners can now reciprocate with their own food preferences, and when you're fed up with talking about food, pardon the pun, you simply switch to another category. Dicey. Finally, something without a list. And all you need, apart from your mind, is dice. The numbers on the dice are allocated to the modal verbs in the following manner. 1. Mögen. Ich möchte. 2. Wollen. 3. Müssen. 4. Können. 5. Dürfen. 6. Sollen. This roughly reflects how difficult it is to form sentences with the individual verbs. You now throw the dice and have to make up a sentence with the modal verb that corresponds to your number. So, if you throw a one, you could say, for example, Ich möchte nach Deutschland reisen. If you throw a five, you could say, Ich darf ja nicht rauchen. If you get the sentence right, and your study buddy will closely scrutinize if that's the case, you get the corresponding points. In the first case, one point. In the second case, five points. If you make a mistake, you get nothing. Of course, you're not allowed to repeat a sentence. Agree beforehand on how many throws each player has and then count up the points at the end. <laughs>